So, hello, welcome to Seven Pretty Dolls. It's Shawnee! Okay, so this week we are talking about. What are we talking about? Young Sins. <laughs> We are talking about young sins. Now, we're talking about high school and whether we were good or bad, semi-bad, you know, all that stuff. So, um, I, let me just say, um, pretty much growing up, I grew up in a Christian home, um, and I was a snuck off into the boys' shower room. I was a good girl. Don't listen to my husband. Um, I was a very good girl growing up. My mom, like we didn't have TV. Um, we, Air was just invented. <laughs> no, I was like. I don't know. It's so weird because now my sisters, like, after they were, you know, they're younger, they're like 14 years younger, and they got to do whatever they wanted, go out whenever they wanted, and I was raised, I went to a private school. I couldn't even wear eyeliner. Like, I had to sneak to go wear eyeliner back in the day, and now look at me. I'm all tattooed and shiz. You're making it up. So yeah, I'm making up. I'm making up for all the times I had to be good in high school. So um, pretty much, I was a good girl until I hit about 17. And let me just say, at 17, I was married. <laughs> Not by choice. Because I was. There was a shotgun involved. <laughs> what are you saying? There was a shotgun. Involved. A shotgun. Sure. What are you saying? Weddings. <laughs> Country wedding. That's true. I ended up married at uh, Cow Creek Community Church. Yeah. What a name, huh? Cow Creek. If you ain't with us, you're against us. Hi. Hello. Today's our anniversary, by the way. Three years. Three years. Woohoo! So, um, overall, I was a very good girl. And then I got into my. 18. I was still actually a very good girl all up until like I was 30. 30? <laughs> until my kids started to grow up. And then I, um, well, actually, after my divorce, after 20 years of being married, after my divorce, like this side of me just came out. And I think everything that was ever cooped up inside of me for coconuts. wanted to come out. Like I love art. I love, um, anything fun and funky and I think because I wasn't able to express myself possibly in high school always having to wear skirts and have you know you were suppressed I was suppressed Kevin says now I'm able to express Run, myself and, sing. <laughs> and my mom she's worried for me she thinks that I'm going to hate my tattoos when I'm no, 80. I don't think so. She thinks that they're going to be sagging down my arms, but that's okay. So overall, I was a very good girl. Should be hip to be square. Would you have anything else to say about that? You've seen pictures of me back in the day. Oh yeah, you were hot. <laughs> See, he likes it because I was all innocent. Nice and young. Nice and young and innocent. I Sweep was. Sweep you off your feet. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? I love you. Oh, whatever. I love you too. Anyway, that's all. I was very, very good girl growing up. Never really did anything bad. Never really drank. Never did drugs. Still have never done drugs. And, but I'm a, I can be a little rebellious now. My family will say I am the rebellious one in the family. But just because I have tattoos doesn't make me rebellious, right? Sort of. It sort of does, maybe a little bit. So that's it. But my predictions for the rest of the week, I am going to say... Um, if Chelsea does hers tomorrow, I'm going to say she could have been a bad girl. That's what I'm going to say. Um, Sarah, <clears throat> our fill-in doll, I'm going to say, gosh, she's iffy. I'm not sure what I think. Um, <laughs> well, because I don't know her super, super well, but she seems so sweet. Like, she could never be a bad girl. But she might have a little side of maybe she was a little bit bad. And then I'm going to say Misty maybe a little bit bad. I'm gonna say half and half on Misty. And she's our Thursday doll. And then Friday, I'm going to say Brandy. Oh, I don't know about her either. See, she's so sweet and so kind. I can't see her really being bad. But see, I think all of us have a little bit of badness. So, 
I'm gonna say only half, maybe a little bit. I don't think she was extremely bad. And then Melissa, our Saturday doll, I'm gonna say she was a badass girl. <laughs> I don't know, I could be totally wrong, but those are my predictions. Oh, and I could have told you Stormy was a bad girl, our Sunday doll. I just had a feeling she's a spicy little biatch. So that is it, guys. I will talk to you later. Mwah! I love you tons. And we will see you next week.